Hi everyone, I'm Karen from Makeup and Beauty Blog and today I've got some beautiful pieces from the new Tom Ford Holiday 2015 Noir Color Collection. This is a new limited edition collection that recently launched at Tom Ford Counters and online at TomFord.com. It's kind of a smaller one, it's seven pieces, um, but it's interesting. And I have five of these seven items to share with you. The only things that I don't have are the waterproof mascara and the sparkly blue um, mascara. I think that one's called Cobalt. Anyways, it's heavy on the eyes, it's mostly eye products. So we've got this interesting cream and eye powder eye combo and three mascaras and a, an eyeliner for the eyes. Nothing for the cheeks. For the lips, we've got a matte pink lipstick and then for the nails, some sparkly black nail polish. So you might have already noticed that the packaging's a little different from the usual Tom Ford packaging. Instead of the dark brown, we've got a limited edition dark black. Kind of chic, kind of cool. So before we get into it, I do have to say Tom Ford equals expensive. I mean, there's no way getting around it. It's one of the pricier makeup brands out there. The most affordable thing in this launch is the nail polish, and this is $35. So please just keep that in mind in case you think that you might fall in love with something. Tom Ford is not exactly budget. So let's go ahead and get started with the cream and powder eyeshadow in Night Sky. This is $66. I know, but there's a lot of pigment and it's absolutely stunning. I will say that. So when you twist off this top part, you get a cream shadow and that's a deep indigo, indigo blue black glossy cream shadow. It's really, really beautiful. And there's like some tiny little flecks of blue shimmer. And then in the top part here, which you lift up right here, this is a powder shadow. It looks kind of boring in the pan, but when you swatch it, it's absolutely beautiful. It's a matte black and navy blue with blue, purple, gold, and green micro shimmer. And this is one of those shades that when I saw on the back of my hand, let me just show you the swatches, it made me go, wow. I mean, it's incredibly pigmented and it's interesting too. It's got this that matte black and base, but when you kind of move it around in the light and you see it up close, you see those tiny bits of micro glitter and there are so many different colors. They're so pretty and it's just take your breath away beautiful. So usually with these combos, I don't even bother with the cream shadow, but this one I'm all about the cream shadow. Um, they are just, both of these items are incredibly pigmented. Um, and so this can be a double-edged sword. So on one hand, you've got Hello, a lot of pigment, and that's always awesome. On the other hand, it's not always easy to get the transitions that a classic smoky eye usually has, you know, with the darker to slightly less dark to light, you know, and then to very light. I tried doing a smoky eye just with these two products, and I, I found it kind of challenging. I ended up having to add some transition shades into the crease. I used, which I have on my eyes today, this... Um, matte palette from Tom Ford. Oldie but a goodie, it's called Coco Mirage, and I use the two uh, brown shades here to transition from this dark, dark, dark bluish black shade up into the brow bone. So, you know, I do have to say that this is a stunning piece of makeup, albeit incredibly expensive, and it's especially lovely if you're already a hardcore Tom Ford collector. However, it's not the easiest thing to use. So that's just something to keep in mind. All right, next up we've got the Eye Defining Pencil in Navy Black. Sorry if I look down on occasion, I'm looking down at my notes. This is $40 and it's cray cray expensive and it doesn't look very exciting. When you see it in the pencil though, I do have to say that when Tom Ford's pencils are good, they're really good, just like Metallic Mink. Oh my God, when I think about it, I get all excited. And when I think about this pencil, I get really excited. It's surprisingly really beautiful. And I think it might be my favorite thing from the collection, which totally came out of left field for me. But anyways, let me show you the swatch. This one's got um, that special something something. Like when you first put it on the back of, like when you first put it on, some from some angles it looks like a straight up black, then from others it looks like a shimmery bluish black. But then when you buff it out, like more of the tiny little blue p bits of micro shimmer come through. Oh, it's so freaking pretty. I don't know if it's gonna pick up on camera, but. Um, when you see it in real life, you're gonna kind of go like, why is this so gorgeous? I have it on my lower lash lines right now, and I have to say, it's so creamy, it buffs out beautifully, it's easy to work with, and you're killing me, Tom, because it's this $40 pencil is too pretty, and I plan to wear it down to a teeny tiny nub. Or I can really love it down to a teeny tiny nub. Yeah, is that good? 
All right, so next up are the Lash Chips Mascara. It's the Lash Chips Mascara in burnished gold, and I have that on the my eyes right now. I don't know if you can see it. I hope you can. Um, here's the swatch, by the way. Um, and here's the mascara. It has this teeny tiny little brush for precision. So basically what this is is a glittery mascara top coat. And this is one of two. The other shade is the cobalt shade. And I do like that when I put this on the tips of my lashes or heck, from the bottom of my lash all the way to the end, which is what I did today. I just felt kind of crazy, so I did that. You can actually see the color. Like with so many glittery top lash um, mascara top coats, I can't really see it on my lashes because mine are so dark, but this is actually very visible. But the thing is, is I feel a little cray-cray when I wear this. I don't know why. Maybe it's because I have gold lashes on and I look like I'm walking around with gold lashes. <laughs> I think it would be probably more appropriate for like, um, like a mask, um, a magazine photo shoot. It's very editorial. I don't know if I would necessarily want to wear this to a party. I think that I would be more likely to wear a bang and pair of falsies. But hey, you know, if you would rather wear a sparkly gold mascara, it's here for you and it's $44. Okay, next up is Nail Lacquer in Blackout. And this is 35 bucks. This is a sparkly bluish black and I have it on my nails right now. I have to apologize for the rushed polish job. I kind of just wanted to get it off my nails to show you. Um, believe it or not, though, this is a just a single coat of this color. It's a gorgeous black and blue with shimmer. You know, you really have to get this one into the sunlight to see to get its full effect. That's when like the tiny bits of blue shimmer really burst through, and you can see like why the, Tom Ford is like kind of known for being Tom Ford. He does that beautiful kind of secret shimmer, much like Chanel's. However, when you just first see it on your nails, you're kind of like, Meh, get in the sunlight and you'll be wowed. It's kind of a moody shade, but I kind of like that sometimes for this time of year. Okay, the last thing I have is the First Time Matte Lipstick, and this is $55, and it's a re-promote from the Permanent line. I don't have the one that is being released in this collection. That one has limited edition packaging, but I wanted to show you the permanent one that I have anyways. This one is 52 because it's in the regular packaging. So the only difference is the packaging. Um, this is in the regular like dark brown Tom Ford packaging. The shade is a matte pinky nude beige, and I have it right here, swatched. And I love the color. I think it's like one of those perfectly um, pink nudes, but I do have to say that the formula can be quite challenging. Tom's lipsticks are incredibly rich and incredibly pigmented, and the mattes in particular are very stark mattes. So if you have any sort of imperfections on your lips at all, any sort of texture or any sort of flakes, then this will call out your flakes like just like that. So I like to layer a lip balm underneath and sometimes I pop a lip balm on top. I prefer lip balms that don't have a lot of shine to them just to keep the matte effect um, intact. The one that I love and I use all the time and I'm wearing right now is Nuke's Rev de Mille. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this look at Tom Ford's Noir Color Collection. And if you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you want. And thank you again for watching and I'll see you again soon. Bye.